Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I'm Michelle and I am documenting my uh, journey post bariatric surgery. I actually started documenting um, when I started, right before I started the liquid diet before my surgery and uh, this week on Thursday will be one month since I had my surgery. So my journey has been going well. Please um, subscribe below, turn your notifications on if you'd like to continue to follow along. Um, I've been able to talk to you guys about some of the issues and problems that I've come across, some things that are working really well for me, uh, different products that I like that have been um, working well for me. So I'll continue to share that with you guys throughout my journey. Um, at, until at least I'm a year out. So today I want to talk a little bit about the three week stall. It is very, very real. I can tell you that I have been in my third week um, for coming up on a week now and I have not lost a single pound and it's been very discouraging to only be uh, 10 pounds down from surgery. It's very frustrating. Um, but it's very real. I have not cheated. I have been eating everything that's healthy. I've been drinking my protein shakes. Um, I've been eating pureed foods um, and actually some actual chicken breast and vegetables, um, no carbs. Uh, I've been doing really well, but that the scale is just not moving. And I'm okay with that because my clothes are fitting me completely different than they fit before. Um, I have some jeans that I can't wear at all that were too big. Uh, some of my shirts, like this shirt, I have, a, I have a different shirt that has crisscrosses, but this shirt specifically, I haven't been able to wear in a very long time. And while it's a little snug, at least it's fitted and it does look better on me. Uh, my regular jeans are just baggy in the butt. Um, even my underwear is too big, which I find hilarious that when you're walking, not only are your pants kind of falling down below your butt cheeks, but my underwear is doing the same thing and it is pretty embarrassing. So I try to make sure that I roll the waistbands up or do whatever I need to, um, to be able to make sure that my pants don't fall down in public. Uh, I have a lot less rolls where there used to be rolls, um, like back fat and those types of things um, are really starting to get better and get smaller. My face is is noticeably thinner, which is a good thing. Um, I'm even losing weight here. Uh, I wish I would lose weight in my butt. Uh, people tell me that it is smaller, but I'm not seeing it. Um, and I, you know, I may have a little body dysmorphia going on. Um, when I look in the mirror, I still see a fat person. Uh, I'm still pretty heavy. I'm still over the 200 pound mark. So I'm so excited to finally get um, into Wonderland, which is under 200 pounds and back into the 100. So I'm just having to learn how to be patient and to continue to eat the right way. Um, and I feel amazing, you guys. My energy, uh, this Saturday we had a belated birthday weekend celebration for my daughter who just turned 16. And even my best friend was stunned at how well I was doing, how much I was able to walk in wedges, in very high wedges nonetheless. Um, I uh, wasn't all sweaty like I used to be. I had enough energy to walk around the block and then some in Deep Ellum here in Dallas. Uh, so I didn't have to sit down and rest at all. Um, so I've been feeling really great. Uh, I got a tattoo, um, another one. This is my sixth tattoo on Saturday night down in Deep Ellum. Don't know if you guys can see this, but it means uh, live life without regrets or live without regret, basically. And I've been wanting to get this tattoo for a while, but what better time uh, than as I'm doing this journey with you guys, my subscribers, and with my family and friends, um, as they're kind of watching me change my eating habits. Uh, my 16 year old always makes me giggle. She says the cutest things that she likes to watch me eat because she'll watch me chewing my food 20 times and setting my fork down or my spoon down in between bites 
waiting until I take another bite instead of just scarfing food down like a lot of us do mindlessly. I don't mindlessly eat at night anymore. You guys should go back and watch my video about dumping syndrome because that's very real. And it did happen with a pureed soup. It, it was not something that I cheated with or a bunch of sugar. I got over full and had an episode of dumping syndrome where I did a video as it was happening so you guys could see my face and see how awful I looked and how bad I felt. So go back and take a look at that. Um, feel free to go back to my introduction video if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about me, who I am, what my weight was when I started. Um, and then I have my video, of course, of the surgery day that's out there so you guys can see that. I've gained a lot of new subscribers, so thank you guys so much. I went from having like three subscribers to over 60, which is pretty exciting. Um, you know, I have, there are some people out there that have thousands of subscribers. I've only been doing this for about six weeks, so I'm hoping that I'll end up with a lot of subscribers um, and I can continue this journey and hopefully possibly turn this into a makeup tutorial channel along with my weight loss for the women uh, and men that might be over 40 or over 45. It's very different to do your makeup um, when you're uh, getting up there in age. Um, so I know some of the tricks of the trade on what not to do when you're an older uh, person wearing makeup, um, what to wear on your eyes and what to wear on your face, the kinds of foundations to wear. So eventually I hope to uh, turn this channel into that and to be able to partner my weight loss along with uh, giving some makeup tips and skincare tips. Um, I'm told by a lot of people that I don't look like I'm gonna be 51 in three months. Um, I've always taken good care of my skin, moisturizing, um, use top of the line products on my face, under my eyes. So I may transition this channel into something a little bit different once I get to my goal weight, which is 175. Um, but I've, you know, I've had a, I had a great weekend this weekend, was able to walk and do the things that I hadn't been able to do in a long time. And it can only get better from there. Um, I do plan on starting to work out once my six week um, time frame is up and I can start to lift uh, heavier things than a gallon of milk. Um, so that is in my plan as well to add exercise, um, probably dance uh, types of exercise. There's a hip hop step class that I really want to take that's in Plano close to me. Um, there are a lot of hip hop style classes at gyms around here and then in my complex, I, I have a gym here that is that is here and we have Elevate classes that are conducted here. We have a personal trainer on site. So it's a really nice place to live and they have a great gym. They have great opportunities and a really good trainer from what I can see. So I do plan to do that and I'll share with you guys what I'm doing as I go along. But I wanted to just hop on here and just say hello let you guys know I had a great weekend. I've had no complications whatsoever this week. Still drinking my protein shakes, still eating soups, um, and just you know a little bit of chicken and the things that I'm able to tolerate that have worked well for me. So I hope you guys have an outstanding week. Um, subscribe, gosh you guys, I can't talk. Subscribe, turn your notifications on to continue to follow my journey and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Talk to you later.